Hello. In this presentation, I will show that aged rodents are a good model for naturally occurring benign prostatic hyperplasia, focusing on histological evaluation and potential treatment. And I have nothing to disclose. BPH is a very common condition in aging men, but since blood outlet obstruction and associated lower urinary tract dysfunctions are the main symptoms affecting men's quality of life, most BPH-associated studies are focusing on these aspects of the disease. And rodents are not believed to be a good model for BPH because a rodent's prostate is comprised of several distinct lobes and lacks fibrous capsule that circumscribes the human prostate. Thus, enlargement in mice or rats is not believed to lead to blood outlet obstruction. However, our extensive histological ex assessments of aged rats and mice have allowed us to describe a native BPH model. What's most important is that the rodent prosthetic urethra, unlike humans, is surrounded by the external urethral sphincter, which constrains tissue expansion within this region, which naturally can lead to bladder outlet obstruction. Since PD5 inhibitors are beneficial in uh, BPH-associated lower urinary tract symptoms, we hypothesized that decreased tissue CGMP levels may be involved in BPH development and have shown that the soluble guanylate cyclase activator Sinasigua treatment reversed BPH and blood outlet obstruction in aged mice and rats. Our mice and rats uh, at the age of 24 months old were treated with Sinasigua or its vehicle uh, every day by the gavage at 10 milligrams per kilogram per day. These are typical prostate and prostatic urethral sections from aged mouse and rats below. In the center of each of these sections, you can see the external urethral sphincter circumferencing the prostatic urethral area, including urethra, vas deferens, seminal vesicles, and some prostatic glands. And just to remind you, nitric oxide reacts with soluble granulite cyclase that re re results in production of cyclic GMP, PKG, and physiological response. And PD5 selective inhibitors block the breakdown of active CGMP into its inactive GMP form. Uh, however, in the case of oxidative stress or pathology where the heme of soluble granulite cyclase is oxidized or absent from the enzyme, uh, nitric oxide would not be able to react with it. Also, in the case of uh, nitrogenic nerve damage where there is no nitric oxide, PD5 selective inhibitors would not be beneficial. Here comes this relatively new class of drugs called uh, cy uh, soluble granulite cyclase activators that work without nitric oxide and can activate uh, soluble granulite cyclase even without heme or with oxidized heme. And again, we gavaged our adult and old animals with sinusiguat for two weeks daily at 10 mg per kg. These are fragments of typical red prostate lobe sections, showing that in adult animals there is very little collagen and cell nuclei in the stromal area between prostatic glands. In aged animals, both collagen and cell nuclei numbers increase dramatically. Also increased are the prostate weights as well as mast cell numbers in aged prostates. Importantly, the urethral openings decreased significantly in aged animals, suggesting the blood outlet obstruction potential. Uh, these are the fragments of typical urethral areas in adult aged and aged rats treated with sinusiguat. The obstructed urethra is visible here, and the obstruction seems to be due to increased collagen hyperplasia as well as increased number of prosthetic glands in the area and possibly urethral cell hyperplasia. Bladder function was studied in these animals and systometry showed decreased intercontractile intervals and non-voiding contractions in aged animals. Sinusiguat did not have any effect in adult animals but increased 
intercontractile intervals and decreased non voiding activity in aged animals. Histology with modified perfoid fungus and staining showed significant increase in bladder wall collagen content in aged animals, and length tension recordings demonstrated the left shift in length tension curve of aged male bladders, suggesting decreased compliance and ability to relax at stretch. In conclusions, aged rodent prostates exhibit increased collagen tissue ratios, increased numbers of both prostate epithelial and stromal smooth muscle cells, and mast cell infiltration. Especially important is that these processes also occur within the rodent prostatic urethra surrounded by external urethral sphincter, where tissue expansion leads to urethral obstruction and can serve as a naturally occurring model for studying BPH and bladder outlet obstruction. Oral sinusigua traverses BPH, bladder outlet obstruction, and lower urinary tract symptoms in aged animals, suggesting that uh, soluble, soluble guanylate cyclase mediated increases in cyclic GMP production in the prostate are a contributing factor. Thank you.